on Monday, October the 9th in 2006, I photographed Margaret Thatcher. It was a special edition of Time magazine, 60 Years of Heroes. Whether Baroness Thatcher was a hero or a villain, I'll leave that for you to decide. In the run-up to the shoot, there was all this preamble and we had to sort of advise her as to where the shoot was going to take place so that the special branch, the undercover policeman, could go and vet the location. When she actually did arrive, it was almost a bit of an anti-climax. She was tiny, and I remember my assistant and I had to help her up the steps to the studio. So she was having her hair and makeup. She had her own people that always worked with her. I think they probably had a lot more powder than other people that I was photographing at the time. You know, pop stars and actors. I think they really caked on this sort of powdery makeup, but she had flawless skin. And I remember telling her her skin was beautiful and she gracefully accepted my compliment. I was quite nervous, so I decided to use a Sunpack portable flash, which I put on the end of my lens. I was using a Canon 1DS Mark II and I started taking pictures as she was getting her makeup done. And actually, those pictures are really interesting. They're kind of a nice deconstruction of the artifice, the whole process of doing a photo shoot. When the shoot started, I nervously just tried as much as I could. I had tungsten, I had available light, and I had my flash. I set up backdrops. I realized I'd got what the magazine wanted, and now I could be playful, I could literally try anything. So I even took a couple of pictures at the end, which is sort of interesting and still work. I only put light onto the back wall, and she was almost in silhouette. But her brand and the color, the kind of dynamism of her, of her presence still means that you can somehow recognize it's her but it just looks a bit interesting because it's sort of backlit. The picture with the eyes was never used by Time magazine. It was only after the article came out that I liked that picture and it, at the time it won lots of awards. I think it was the portrait photograph of the year voted by the picture editors. I think it's an interesting picture because there's something wonderfully voyeuristic about viewing someone so powerful and actually not being kind of in their gaze, just as viewing them as an object. It was really strange because she loomed so large. She was the Iron Lady. She was this formidable titan of the political landscape. And then it was strange with her eyes closed, seeing her look so vulnerable. 60 Years of Heroes was a whole portfolio of iconic figures in the last 60 years. So it would have been Gorbachev, Nelson Mandela. Other photographers would have had their commissions to photograph these other people. And my job was to photograph Mrs. Thatcher. And she said to me, when are the other people arriving? And I said to her, no, Margaret, um, I'm just doing you. Other photographers are doing the other people. And throughout the shoot, several times she said to me, when are the other people arriving? And I kept explaining to her that it was just her today. And we were just photographing her in this studio in Battersea. And the other people were gonna be photographed by other people. But then I realized she had a bit of dementia. And at the end of the shoot, it was really poignant. She sort of said to me, the other people never did come. And it was sort of sad and strange to see someone so powerful succumbing to human frailty. The whole time we shot in the shadows in the corner of the studio were three special branch officers. I can't remember what they looked like. They were very discreet. And I wouldn't normally do this, but I decided that in this instance, I would have my picture taken with her. So at the end of the shoot, I sort of put my arm around her. And as I put my arm around her, my arm was on her shoulder in my peripheral vision. I could see the special branch officers sort of getting ready to take me down if I tried anything. Because obviously, you know, she was a very important person and I was just this kind of crazy photographer in Battersea.